Hello everyone, this is Leslie Denman, Creative Experience Officer here at Bold Faith Candles and I'm excited. Feels like Christmas. All right, we have uh, our supplies are coming in and I wanted to say it was a mini candle haul, but if you're spending over a thousand dollars, that's not many, right? So we have a candle haul and I want to share it with you as we prepare for our launch on June 1st. So excited. So let's jump in. But before we do, do not forget to like and to subscribe. So these dried flowers are part of one of the collections that we are launching on June 1st. And let me tell you, I had to do quite a bit of research. There is no shortage of dried flowers on Amazon. And so I've made a decision after reading reviews and just kind of like, you know what, Leslie, just make a decision. And so I decided on these. These are the dried flowers. There are 18 different types here. And so, yeah, we're using that. Next is, got this. Um, I have a Shopify site boldfaithcandles.com will be coming on uh, June 1st. Be sure to check it out. But I got this uh, chip and swipe reader absolutely free. One of the members of a candle group that I'm in on Facebook uh, shared that they were giving them out. And so I went over and you have to verify that you do have a Shopify site and they send this to you absolutely free. So I'm going to do an unboxing of that a little bit later. All right. Next up, we have our flameless candle lights these are battery operated tea lights you're not uh, no stranger to these right know what these are and the reason i have these is because when we are filming uh, our photography with our candles and all of that good stuff we don't necessarily want to melt <laughs> like actually melt our wax melts most of the time we just want it to look like that right it's just for aesthetics and so what I've elected to do is to, as you can see, you can see a little flickering going on right there, right? That is the tea light. So if you're doing videos and things like that, look, it gives the illusion. And so this is, I got this little beauty from Amazon as well with the little spoon. I'm calling it a spoon. I don't know what it is actually, but what they call it. But that's where you sit your tea light in and then you can sit your wax melts there, do your photography videos or whatever. And it looks like there is an actual flame. That way you get to use that tea light, I mean that wax melt over and over again for your photography. All right. And then when you are at your pop-up shops, rather than burning a candle, you can elect to burn a wax melt, which we know has a higher fragrance load. So it's going to give off a more robust heat throw. So you can save that candle and sell it and then just use your wax melts to lace the air for people to smell your amazing candles. All right. Just a little thing that I do. Speaking of wax melts, I got these wax melt labels from Amazon and I got these because they are on brand for me, black and silver, our brand colors. And these are the uh, they also have them in white and, you know, just your traditional white with black uh, lettering. So I got these at 600 of these. And when I looked at the opportunity cost of me creating them myself, you know, and adding the brand and all of that, I will, uh, it made more sense to me to just buy these. There's 600 of these. And then because you're already branding the cover, so it just makes more sense to be able to just save ink and just use this. Okay. I, when I do my wax melt samples, I wanted something a little different. So again, to stay on brand, I have um, bought these pillow sleeves and they are the perfect size for one or two wax melts. Just put those in, put them there. You can put your warning label on one side, the actual label on the other side, fold the sleeves in like that, slap it and voila, a beautiful experience for your customers. So I got these on Amazon and you get about, I think there's a hundred of these. There is a hundred of these. So I got those and we're talking about uh, candles. Again, when we were talking about, you know, photography and all of that, I got this cute little set because we talk about candle care, but we must practice candle care as well, right? So I got this wick trimmer. 
Um, and I looked at it and I'm like, did that come that way? Or was it just when I closed it the first time? I don't know. I'm choosing to believe that it was when I closed it, it scraped. Okay. But is this cute? I got this. And again, this is that collection. Um, you got your snuffer to snuff out your candle. All right. And then when that wick wants to lean a little bit too far, got this cute little tool that you can use to straighten your wick up and then, you know, get, scoop out any debris that might be in your candle. And again, this is great when it comes to your photography, you know, beautiful. Again, this is in line with our brand, black and silver. And then I have my labels here from online labels have two packs of those in the various sizes that I use because I have a couple of different vessels that I'm going to be using during our launch throughout the year. Next up is clear tape. Wanted to get as close to crystal clear tape as possible. Um, what else? Uh, this little beauty here. Uh, let's see here. This little beauty is for those smaller batches. You know, sometimes that picture is just a little bit too big when you just need to do a small batch or two or you need to be real steady with your pour. I have this for that reason there. Got that on Amazon as well. Everything that I have so far that I've been sharing with you, aside from the uh, chip and swipe reader, has been from Amazon. There's um, the wax melt containers. I got these from Amazon. There's 50 in here. And what I like about this is that there are three different styles in here. There are 20 of your traditional square shape. There are 20 heart shaped uh, wax melt mold. And then there are 20 of the round uh, wax melt mold. So, I mean, 10 of those. So it's 20 of uh, square. 20 heart and 10 of the round and these are a lot cheaper it's 50 and then they're a little bit cheaper than when you get them from some of the traditional places like our where we get our fragrances and our waxes this was a little bit cheaper and i get to kind of control when it comes i don't i'm not held up with it coming from the west coast or the east coast i'm a prime member so i know it's coming in two or three days and that's why i tend to lean more towards amazon because i don't want to be caught up in scarcity and lack when we order in from some of the major candle supplies. So again, I like to be in control as much of my business as possible. And when we come to our candles, just being a good steward, we want to get our uh, candles down to an exact science just for efficiency and, you know, just cost efficiency too. So I got this cute little digital pocket scale that is really more accurate when it, uh, more accurate than the traditional scale that I use for my waxes. This is a little bit more accurate so I can make sure that I'm getting um, my wax uh, recipes, my candle recipes, so to speak, down to an exact science when it comes to exactly how much fragrance I'm using. That 0.2 or 0.3 makes a difference. And so we want to be mindful of that. And then I went to the store to pick up more of these and I came across these. Are these not beautiful like look at that look at that so i bought all they had they had about 17 of them i bought them all now listen if you are in the dallas fort worth area do not go in this weekend and get them wait till next weekend let me go pick up a few more okay <laughs> just kidding just kidding what else can i show you um this right here you know if you're making candles if you make candles any amount of time you know that after a couple of batches the you start getting headaches the fumes just start to get a little bit overwhelming so this is a respirator i think it was like 13 bucks or so on amazon now these are sold separately but they work together this is a filter that goes on the side here that's what these do get these at um uh, sorry wrong way get these on uh amazon as well um again we must protect ourselves okay when we're handling our business and then this little beauty is an electric lighter. You know, I like this more than a traditional lighter. Again, I'm all about candle safety. And so this is uh, a beauty. It also has a USB to uh, charge. And so I'll probably do an unboxing of this one and this one in another video. What else can I show you so far? We talked about pretty much everything. Let's see what else. Oh, yeah. The famous... What we call the Dollar Tree jar. Now, overlooked is this is my tester jar. I empty out the vessel and use this over and over again. But what I want to show you is this little top I got from Etsy shop. It's very tough, very thick. You can actually stack another candle jar on top of this. I know because I did it. And I bought these from Etsy. 
and you can see I think I got about 30 of these and uh, this is the jar I mean this is the uh, cover perfect fit I ordered some more uh, vessels these are the straight jars I think I ordered five more cases from Lone Star Candle Company these are the straight, uh, the straight jars with the twist top lid. Let's talk about that for a minute. What is up with all of the twist tops? Like what happened? I love the thread where you can screw it on rather than, I don't, I'm not crazy about the twist, but all of a sudden that's all that everybody is doing. And I'm like, what happened? What happened to my twist? So I'm really thinking about stocking up on the twist and the reason i like these is because again it's local i can just go up the street get my supplies and come back home i don't have to you know wait pay extra for shipping none of that but they only have the thread so i'm really thinking i am going to have to invest in the shipping and stock up and buy maybe a couple of cases um maybe even a pallet to get that thread, I just, it's very important to me, y'all. I know, it's, it's its minor, but it's very important to me. Okay, now, when my grandbaby come back over here, she is going to be upset that I have taken her uh, toy corner. Yes, but, you know, granny got to do what granny got to do. <laughs> so, over here, I have more vessels, right? And I have these. I ordered these from Amazon as well. These are the 4x4x4. Four by four by four. These are the great size for the straight-sided jar if I'm shipping just one and maybe a wax melt sample and be able to wrap it properly because, you know, a candle maker's worst nightmare is to ship a candle to your customer and it arrives broken. Like, OMG! Woo! The frustration. So I have the 444 and then I have the 5x5x5 five by five by five coming, the 6x6x6. Six six six. And then I think I have another side because I want to see what would be proper for just one candle, two candles, or a candle and a wax melt, two candles and a wax melt, and all of that good stuff, but still leave room for packaging, for it to be snug, but not to, you know, all of the things we got to do when we're packing. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And then there are the fragrances trying to decide, and I still have more fragrances coming. Trying to decide who's going to make the cut for the first two collection. It has been like, oh my goodness, they all smell so good. And I'm going to do a fragrance review soon. I have uh, also some uh, small little bowls. Got those from Amazon as well. Going to use those in the launching then. I have made a few decisions. <laughs> as you can see, the, the ones that I made a decision on, I got bigger bottles of these. And I'll do a fragrance release later, but um, I have Midwest fragrances. I have a Lone Star candle supply. I have AAA candle supply. I have candle science. All of them are in these boxes. And then I have, and I still have more coming. And then I have a couple of colors there. I have more colors coming. So I think I ordered every color that they had just to be on the safe side. So yeah, this has been my thing. Oh, one other thing I ordered. I ordered these. These are kind of like uh, for, these are the pads that you can use. Like when you are, when you're pouring your, uh, when you're using your scale and you're measuring your wax and all of that. I don't know if the heat can mess up the scale, but I've noticed that if I put it on there, sometimes the scale just kind of blinks out. And then I have to take it off, like wipe it down. And I don't know if it's the heat or what. So I've got these. This is like little heating pads like we use when we're cooking. And I'm going to put this on top of my scale to kind of protect my scale from the heat. So that I can preserve my scale. So order those. Again, that came from Amazon as well. Off to the waxes. Currently I only use... Um, 6006 for my container candles, but I do mix them. I love 6006. I know it has its issues, but right now it is worth it for me <laughs> to work with or work through those issues. But I do mix uh, my 6006 with about 20% of 444, the soy uh, container wax. And I do that for a couple of reasons, particularly in the summertime. 6006 is so soft, and the melting point. Uh, in Texas, it gets very, very hot. So if I'm shipping it anywhere, I'm concerned about it melting. And so 444 has a higher melt point so that I feel a little bit more comfortable that it will arrive safely if I wrap it with some of the um, 
the different, you know, cool packs and different things like that, I feel a little bit more confident that it'll arrive there uh, not fully melted, right? And then there is the 4624. This is Pillow Wax. I mixed 10% uh, of this with my 6006 to give me the snap that I need in my wax melts because, again, 6006 is so incredibly soft that you need to add something to it or use a different wax. And so I'm mixing 10% of this 4624, and I think I may actually go up to 15%. The 10% is good, but I want a little bit more snap. So I think I may add, I think I may test it out and see what happens. But right now, 10% does work. Now this is the, um, these are these two. This is kind of like my big box. And then this is like my working box. My working box is where I got, when I'm making candles, rather than having all the waxes everywhere, I kind of just break them down. So this is the uh, 6006. I broke uh, some pieces off of the uh, 4624, which is incredibly hard. You got to take a hammer to this thing to break it. And then I put some 444 in a Ziploc bag so that when I'm working, it just makes it easier for me. All right, so I think that's everything I have right now. Again, I'm waiting on other uh, supplies to come in, and I may be back with a part two. But so far, I just wanted to share the candle haul with you as we prepare for launch boldfaithcandles.com june 1st so excited don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll be back soon until then happy candle making